What's going on, Fight Faithful? This is the Encyclopedia George Kennebrew here for MMA Mayhem TV here at Conflict 29 in the historical but beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. This interview is being brought to you by MamasBoyApparel.com. Strength, love, and loyalty. And talk about strength. I got to give it up to my man, Mighty Mo Webb, retaining his flyweight title in a very fun, action-packed battle with De uh, Demarcus Holmes. Took you straight to the limit. And I guess with this, Mo, is the gloves change, but the fight stays the same. Yeah, I mean, the gloves change, the fight stays the same, you know. No two fights are going to be the same. No two opponents are going to be the same. You got to adapt and overcome, you know. Each opponent's got different strengths, you know. And this guy, he had a... He had a, little, a lot of good things going on for him. Now, that was very courageous for DeMarcus Holmes. He took the fight on very short notice. I know that goes a long way in your book. I know you have the utmost respect for him, as I'm pretty sure you do all of your opponents. But being that this was a short notice fight, did your focus waver at all? Or were you just as focused on him as you would have been for Josh Robinson? Uh, I was definitely just as focused. Um, you know, with Josh Robinson, he kind of called me out, you know, saying I wouldn't stand up with him. So, I, you know, I had in my head making sure, you know, I'm going in to bang out. You know, when he got switched to Demarcus Holmes, you know, I know he's a good wrestler and I know he likes to go for takedowns, you know, and I'm a good wrestler as well. So that's one of the things I kept in my mind was the fact that this guy's going to be shooting, this guy's going to be going for takedowns. So that was one of the things that I focused in my mind was getting that takedown defense on point. Now, one of the more fun parts in the fight was when y'all had a little matrix moment going on and you were doing your little Mighty Mo stance and he was doing his little stance, kind of giving the fans a little entertainment. Is that all right sometimes to just get loose and just have a little fun in the midst of competition? Oh yeah, I thought it was fun. It was very motivating. You know, he actually kind of messed me up because when I do that, I kind of get in guys' head and he did it back trying to mock me. So it kind of made me forget what I was going to do. So I kind of had to take a step back. It was funny. It was all love. I know it was no disrespect at all. Last thing. We heard Jared Williams in the cage giving you praise. You're one of the best flyweights out here in the Southeast, and I know you're gunning for that matchup with Josh Robinson. Is there anything that you want to say to him here and now to let him know that he's next in line or possibly on the hit list of Mo Webb? I just got to say, bring that ass, boy. Bring that ass. He said, bring that ass, and he said he will bring the whipping. Ladies and gentlemen, this interview has been brought to you by MamasBoyApparel.com. Strength, love, and loyalty. And that's exactly what this man is all about. And he's mighty, and he's coming to catch all of the competition in his web. Page turn.